guys how's it going welcome back to my booktube channel pretty little bibliophile i'm nika and i make book related videos so uh welcome if you're new and welcome back if you have been watching my videos for quite some time so as you can see from the title today's video is actually going to be a part of a series so i have come up with this idea to host this readathon that is the explore india readathon wherein i hope to read one book um, you know, one book or a work from all of the states, all of the Union territories of India, and I hope to do it within the upcoming year and the year after that as well. So that is the basic gist. I have, I will be reading one book from each state every month, and I hope you will join me as well. So this was actually very, very sudden, and it started as a book club initiative for my book club, Read with Nika book club. So for September, we decided to read. Um, a book from Assam, which is a state of the Northeast India, and we decided to go with Chinatown Days by Rita Chaudhary, which is a really, really um, widely critically acclaimed book, and it is an amazing, amazing book. It is actually, um, it was first published as Makam in the Assamese language, and this is a translated version, and the translation was done by the author herself. This book also got the um, Sahitya Academy Award in 2006, so that's a great trait. Um, one more reason why you should pick it up and why we did. Um, so since it was an abrupt start, I could not make an introductory video in the very beginning to um, ask you all to join and read books with us. And that is why I have decided to start with this video. So for September, we have read um, Chinatown Days, as, you can, <laughs> as I have already said. And in this video, you'll get to see the progress I made as I read this book. It has very many ups and downs. There is also a plot twist in my reading of this book. Um, but overall, I do think that this is a book everybody should read. So if you are watching this, like obviously after September is over, then even then I would recommend you to check out this book because it is a gem in literature, both um, in terms of historical aspects as well as fiction. Um, so yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I've also made sure to do a very nice rainy read with me, um, sit down and read with me sort of thing in the middle. So I hope you will enjoy that as well. But before we end, I do have to tell you that the book for October is The Inheritance of Words. Uh, and this is featuring authors from authors and creators from Arunachal. So I'll also make sure to include a picture of the um, states and Indian territories we intend to cover and in the order. So firstly, we have done Assam because that is the state I originate from. I am an Assamese person. So next month, that is in October, we will be reading a book from Arunachal and then we'll move on to Manipur and you know, so on. So I hope you will enjoy um, reading and watching this video and reading this book, by the way. And I hope you pick it up yourself. And I hope you will also join us from October onwards because we have got many exciting things planned, you know, to discuss all of these books and so on. And in this way, we hope to journey throughout India and learn more about our cultures and so on. If you want to keep updated, I would definitely recommend you to check out our Instagram handle for the book club, which I'll make sure to include down below so that you, know, you can follow it and keep up to date with all the details and um, the progress and everything that we post there. So yeah, I hope you join us and I hope you have a great time watching this video.
Hi guys, so I'm done with part one of the book and I thought I would give you an update about what it has been like. I've made a few, um, as you can see, I've tabbed a few pages. So the beginning is basically um, the author giving the reader an idea about the, the background, the whole history of it. It's a lot about British history. Oh my god, I can't speak. So it's a lot about how the British came to Assam and the development and all of that. Then how the labor laborers were brought, how slavery was done and all of it. And then it talks about life um, of these people in the tea gardens. People who were brought from China, from different parts of India. Uh, and they were not people, you know, they were slaves. They were bonded laborers. They were indentured. And the condition that they lived through was really, is really, really heartbreaking to read. And... It's just very sad to, you know, even imagine that something like that happened here and that something like that is not taught to us, you know, in schools and all of that. So, so far, this is basically, uh, well, it's the foundation that is being built before the story can continue. And I am definitely going to keep reading more. Um, I'm going to continue with part two now and I'll inform you more about it when I'm done with part two. Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later and unfortunately I haven't got much mm -hmm. of an update for you. However, the one update that I have is um, quite a startling one. I did not expect this. So, it's about Chinatown days. Um, I'm 194 pages in and I think I am not going to continue reading with, reading this book. I'm going to put it down for now, sort of a DNF for me, for now at least. Um, and let me tell you why I am doing so. Because I remember after I, f after I had finished reading the sec first part, I did say that I was really enjoying it and all of that. I gave the update. However, even after so many pages, it's still the same, you know, uh, in certain ways, which now I realize after it has been done so many times, I am really not liking it a lot. So historically, obviously, it talks about a lot, and that's an entirely different um, aspect of the book, which is, I think, of course, good because it's informing us about a historical um, time that we never knew of and all of that. However, now that I'm almost 200 pages in, I'm finding it very um, info dumpy, kind of. It's like the author... Okay, firstly, I think that the author writes it in a very matter-of-fact tone, this happened this happened like that and it's more more so of um tell, telling and not showing so i did not vibe with that and um i was just after some point i got bored and and the most important thing i have not really attached myself with the characters i mean i really liked hohan and his story and everything but now in the second part i'm just i don't care about the characters at all which is kind of sad but I don't know I'm, I'm really not enjoying it maybe I'll try to pick it up after some time once again um, because I mean so many important and you know intellectual people have blurbed such amazing um, stuff about this book like how uh, how much of a gripping historically valuable um, and important book it is and it is I mean no doubt about it however I'm just not vibing with the reading uh, sorry writing style at the moment so I think I'm going to DNF it for now and then um yeah it's very it's very uh info dumpy like i said and um i don't know i would have appreciated more getting to know more about the characters uh and uh, comparatively lesser about the environment or at least even if the environment is thrown in which of course it has to be compared like uh, considering how this is a historical novel which is actually based on um, historical events it's important yes but i just i think that the balance is lost that it's too much information um too much non-factual stuff compared to the people and um yeah that's that's maybe the reason why i'm not vibing at all because so far i haven't really found a character to really root for i mean overall politically historically this is obviously a very important and very sad event as well we are getting to see the lives of the people and everything but I just I just don't want to continue with it at the moment and that is my sad sad update I actually am very disappointed because I had really really high hopes for it I think I'm going to um, I've actually sent a message already 
to Sukanyaba and I'll discuss a bit and you know talk to her about um, the issues that I had with this book and all of that and just you know talk it out and see and let, and I want to hear her uh, like input as well and then um, decide if um, I want to proceed or not basically I'm um, me proceeding with this book is going to depend on how convincing she is just kidding <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna talk about it to her with her and uh, that's it for now Hey guys, so I did continue reading Chinatown Days. I had a discussion with Sukanyaba and you know, um, she was able to convince me to continue reading. I have just finished uh, part two now, which was comparatively long compared to, um, you know, part two. So this is um, part one and this was part two and it has been an intense, intense read. I've already cried so much because of all the things that our characters had to face and um, it's definitely not an easy read however the reason I did decide to DNF it was because after a certain part in the beginning it got very info dumpy and that is something that I think um, is a major part of this book sometimes you know in the beginning it was okay i was getting to know about the history but after some time it just became very very info dumpy compared to the characterization and all of that and there were also so many different characters it was difficult to keep a track of so all of that um but i think that if you push through the first 200 pages like i did you will be able to continue reading because i think the first 200 pages are a bit intense and does get very info dumpy but now that I'm done with part two, it's a vow. Um, but their life has not been easy. I started crying from like the middle of second part when the um, people were being taken away by the police, by the authorities. And now I've reached the part where they have just reached the Dewali jail in Rajasthan. And now I'm going to take a break. And... Um, read some something else before i continue with part three because i need a break um from all the heaviness that i just had hi guys so <laughs> it's the same day it's the evening and i've just finished reading chinatown days <laughs> it was so sad um i'll probably share more about my feelings soon but i just finished it now and seeing and reading about what had happened to all these people these characters who are you know they're fictional but the event the historical event is so real it was really really sad um, um reading about this Oof. i'll probably take some time to sit down and write my thoughts properly about this so that i can share them with you all but oh my god so sad um I'm glad I finished this book despite the difficult uh, first pages that I had to go through this was such an emotional read um, I think you should definitely pick it up um, because this is something that we need to remember because we have to honor our our people and what they went through what history has not done what we were never taught in school and all of that um yeah this was really really intense and um i'll share more with you all very soon <laughs> hey guys so i have finished reading this book and i think i'm in a better mindset to tell you about what i feel as opposed to you know that crying version of me when i had just just finished the book so um i do think that this is a historically accurate as well as a very important historical novel that we should all pick up just simply because of the fact that it is based on an event that i, I mean majority of us don't know. i'm sure like 98 percent of us don't know except for those who are you know um studying history I did not know about it. It was not taught to us in our schools, in our school curriculum. So this was really eye-opening in that way. So that's that for the historical factor. And I would definitely think that if you are a student of history or if you are interested um, in, you know, the history of Assam even, then you should definitely check it out because it features an historical event that is really, really uh, lesser known, but still just as heartbreaking. 
Um, apart from that, in terms of the fictional writing, I had a few problems with it because I felt that the balance between factual writing and fictional writing was lost because I thought that at many points it became more info dumpy, more matter of fact factual in comparison to the storytelling of the people. As such, I do think that it is a very, very plot driven novel compared to um, as opposed to being a character driven novel so that is one factor of it which i did not like and that is the reason why i dnf'd it in the middle but i am glad that sukanyaba compelled and, <laughs> and convinced me to push through so yes that is another factor that you might um face while reading this book if you do feel the same as me while reading this book i would say that definitely try to push through the first 200 pages because after that it does get easier um and so on so i did really really love this book i mean i don't have any more words to speak about it apart from talking about the historical aspects the way people and they are the way the people interacted with each other the characters in the novel so that was really really great and i also cannot deny that this was a very very emotional read i cried tons by reading it um and you know after all that tragedy that happened to the people that happened to me because of reading this book i was my head was in the clouds i mean i was lost crying and then i sat down on my glasses which were brand new i mean i think you're gonna see three different versions of glasses firstly i was wearing the usual you know black rectangular ones and then i went in for a change i got a pinkish one and then i sat on it and in the last um in the last clips i think you're gonna see me with this brand new um publish glass so i got through three glasses in this video and um that's a milestone but anyway i'm rambling uh i would definitely recommend you to pick it up it does get very uh, intense in the middle because of all both the historical aspects as well as the way it is written so do keep that in mind i have not read the original asami's version so i don't know how that one is but i've been told that that one is much easier to read than this one so i think it might be um there might be an issue with the translation um since i had this you know problem with the way it is written but yeah, I haven't checked it out, but you have read either versions of it. Let me know how you felt. And that's it, guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed um, watching it. I haven't done anything like this in a really, really long time. And I don't think I've done a uh, read with me ever. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join us for our October read, which again is The Inheritance of Words. I am very, very excited to read it and I hope you will be too. And I'll see you again very soon. Once again, do check out our Instagram handle for the book club to be to keep updated with all with all of the news. And that's it. I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care. Peace out. Bye.